Okay, so today we're going to try and trace a wire through a harness without ripping it apart using magic, of course, or actually just these little cable tracers that normally networking guys or electricians use to trace Ethernet or phone cable. Uh, some of them come with attachments with alligator clamps, which are particularly handy for guys like you and I. You see, we can clamp this onto a wire and trace it through the engine bay, through the firewall, into, well, wherever you might think it might go, or you just follow the path. So, this plug here uh, used to go to something. The harness here is a mess, as you can see. But I don't feel like fixing it, I'm just gonna make it worse. Anyway, I'm, I know, I've already tested this. This pin over here goes to uh, 12 volts. This pin over here is open. It's not connected to anything. I'm gonna wager that that thing goes to where my old ECU used to be on the floor in here amongst this mess, which normally looks pretty nice and covered up, but I have to rip it back out for this flex fuel sensor. But which of those wires is it? It could be any of those ones that are left disconnected. That's what we're gonna find out. Now, how these things work is, you put this bad boy in scan mode and you see it's blinking, and it puts out a tone. You take this bad boy, hold this, See what's happening? All right, you get the picture. We clamp that onto the end of the pin, it should ring-a-ding all the way through the engine bay into the firewall, into the other side, and we'll find what wire we want. All right, so here's what I've done. We've got the uh, transmitter doohickey hooked up to a wire lead that's just shoved in there. So it goes, well, wherever it's supposed to, hopefully. Uh, and well, here's the cool part, listen. You might not be able to hear it on video, but it is toning. It's going through this plug. That goes all the way through the firewall here, so one can infer it's got to come out over here. Let's go in here, into the mess. Oh boy. Oh. And... Hmm. Oh. Oh. That was loud. Is it this one? That's sounding like it. Oops, you weren't in frame. I'm gonna have to assume it's that one. Here's what we'll do. I already have my strippers out from another job. Let's just go ahead and strip this and put one side, we'll put the pin side on the uh, in the engine bay on ground, put this side and we'll test continuity with the multimeter. And if we hear it beep, we'll know that this is the one here. So, be right back. All right, so we have the multimeter set up on tone mode, so whenever we touch them, get a nice little beep. I'm gonna just ground this out. I guess on the door over here, that's ground enough. And we'll set this up here so that we can hear, is it still connected? All right, so that we can hear if and when it makes continuity. All right, so we have the multimeter set up there. One lead is in the door going to ground. The other lead is on the wire we suspect is in the engine bay. Now, one would assume if we go and ground out this over here, remember this is just a pin shoved in there, that it would beep, so let's see. Yeah, that's it. So, really, to run the flex fuel sensor, which is right there, I'm just gonna have to re-harness over. I'm gonna clean this up a bit too, of course. And the signal line can come right through. There's already 12 volts in ground all around in here. Those are easy to find. We just did the hardest pin. So, here you go. Next time you're looking to run something to your ECU, that's how you do it. Using, I don't know, those things are like 20 bucks on Amazon. So go get you one, it's worth it.